All right, today's lesson 6.4 does common denominators and equivalent fractions. So I'm gonna quickly go over what equivalent fractions are. Now keep in mind, equivalent is a mathematical term that means they are equal. Okay, and you will find this quite often when you are working with common denominators because you are therefore changing the numerator and the denominator to something else, but it does not change the value of the fraction. Therefore, they are still the same. They are equal. So if we start with the fraction 1 half, and we want to find equivalent fractions, we want to find fractions that are equal to that, we would find fractions that hold the same value, okay? So that means they're going to fill the same space within a whole. So as you can see here, I've pulled out two fourths. So one half equals two fourths. They hold the same space. You can see I could draw that line right there and they're holding that same space, okay? So they are equivalent, they are equal. Now I can pull out, let's see if it'll work with sixths. Let me see if I can line some sixths up here. Look at that, I can line up three. It's still holding that same value. So one half and two fourths is equivalent to three sixths. Now, yeah, let's see, let's try it again with eighths. Okay, so even though I'm changing my numerators and my denominators, they are all equal. You can see they're all taking up the same amount of space within that whole. Okay, let's try it one more with the tenths. And there we go, it did it one more time. And here we've got five tenths, okay? So one half, two fourths, three sixths, four eighths, five tenths are all equivalent fractions, okay? They are all equal to one half because they all hold the same value. All right, let's try this again. So I'm gonna pull out my hole again. What if I worked with a third? Okay, so now I have one third. I wanna find out what's equal to this one third. Now I know that six is six and three are multiples of each other. So let's see if I can do this with six. Oh, and look at that two sixths line up perfectly with one third. So that means one third and two sixths are equivalent. Let me try it with nine because I know nine is a multiple of three. And there we go. Three ninths line up perfectly. And if you notice three six and nine are all multiples of each other. Okay, because three times two is six, three times three is nine. They are all multiples of each other. So that's how we can find out if fractions are equivalent or equal.